Hello friends, welcome to Astro SK. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about exaltation and debilitation of planets. So exaltation um, and debilitation is basically the strength of the planets. It's not their influence or, you know, um, the characteristics of planets. It's basically their strength or weakness. Exaltation is a state where a planet can give results freely without obstructions and a uh, debilitated planet is basically a planet which is weak and which will you know give results um, based on you know number of obstructions and may not give you you know good results so um, you see now the different planets get exalted in uh, particular rashis and in certain degrees so as you can see um, on the screen, Sun gets exalted in Aries between 0 to 10 degrees. 10 degrees being the highest point of its exaltation. Moon gets exalted in Taurus between 0 to 3 degrees. Mercury gets exalted in Virgo between 0 to 15 degrees. Jupiter gets exalted in Cancer between 0 to 5 degrees. Saturn gets exalted in Libra between 0 to 20 degrees. Mars is exalted in Capricorn between 0 to 28 degrees. Venus is exalted in Pisces between 0 to 27 degrees. So um, the debilitation of the planets is basically the seventh sign from its exaltation Rashi and the degrees remain the same so so in that case Sun will be debilitated in Libra the degrees remain the same Moon in Scorpio Pis Mercury in Pisces Jupiter in Capricorn Saturn in Aries Mars in Cancer and Venus in Virgo. So it's very important to learn which planet falls, you know, what's the debilitation and exaltation Rashi of each of these planets. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.